Civil Engineering Academy. Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. We're looking at a problem from computational tools dealing with a structured program. The problem reads like this. A structured program is going to be used to determine whether examinees pass a test. The passing score is 80 or more out of a possible 100. Which of the following if statements would set the variable passed to 1 or true when the variable score is a passing score from the examinee and set the variable passed to 0 or false when the variable score is not a passing score from the examinee? So let's look at, the, at this logic over here. The key to this, pro this problem is understanding a little bit about structured programming. So structured programming deals with conditions and statements. Specifically, if, then statements. So the if describes the condition, and the then describes the action to be taken. Sometimes the if then statements will include an else statement. <clears throat> The condition of the if then is not satisfied, then the else condition is taken. Now, over here on our structured programs, there isn't any thens explicitly included in the logic. Oop, there we go. But the then is implied. So, for example, on answer A, it should read, if score is greater than 80, then past equals 1, else past equals 0. So the, the then is, is implied in all of these. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's look at our logic. Let's go down through these. If we look at answer A, this will not give the correct response when we have a score that equals 80. So if our score equals 80, which is a passing score, um, we're going to get a, a variable of 0 or false returned, and we don't want that. So that's not the right answer. Let's look at, at B, the logic there. So B looks like we'll set passed to 1 or true for a score value of uh, anywhere from 80 to 100, which is good. And we'll set the variable passed to zero if uh, we get a score that falls between the values of zero and 79. <clears throat> so the logic of answer B checks out. Let's continue on and see uh, what these other things do or what these other answers give us. Let's see, answer C looks like it will never set past equal to zero because there's no else statement there. So this one doesn't work. And answer D looks like we'll never give the correct response when the variable score is equal to 79. It's almost the same problem we had up on answer A. So that one is not the right answer. So answer B gets us the logic that we're after. Hopefully that helps you with your uh, structured programming. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.